What's good, all my people? Happy Monday, everybody. It's your boy Showtime. And I got to get all the boxing news of the day. So we got breaking news. So the WBO, as expected, they came out and they ordered the um, Terrence Crawford and Sebastian Fandora fight. Now, we all were expecting this. After Saturday, Tim Zhu versus Fandora. Oh, man, this blood, that bloodbath they had on Saturday, the whole plan was already in the, in, in the play that we went out of that fight. Um, that's they're going to, um, whoever, whoever wins that fight walks away with the WBC and the WBO. Now, a lot of, now, here's the thing. PBC, whole plan is to get Earl Spence to um, get in the mix and get the fun door fight. Um, fun, um, Earl Spence pretty much jumped in unified business, and he pretty much saying, hey, I'm not waiting in line. I'm skipping line, and I'm going to get the winner. He shows up at Vegas, like he said he's going to do on Twitter, got in the ring, and they pretty much already promoting that fight. Now, the interesting thing is this. Terrence Crawford, who just beat Earl Spence, went undisputed. Both guys are moving up to 154. Terrence Crawford got the WBO. When you got the WBO, you um, you automatic moves up, and you jump right into the mandatory spot if you decide to move up. The same name, Tia Fimo. If Tia Fimo won the two right now, he got the WBO at 140. He can move up to 147 right now. It's what it looks like Terrence Crawford going to vacate. So if Tiafimo wanted to, he can move from 140 to 147 and get a uh, either the uh, they either give him a vacated um match for the WBO or he get a uh, e he come an email champ. So you know how that goes. So this situation right here now with the WBO ordering this fight between. Sebastian Fundora and Terrence Crawford. And they pretty much let it be known that um, um, y'all got to play ball. So here's the thing. They 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 put out the, on the email, right? It says they got 20 days to come up with a purse bid. Agreement, and it's going to go to purse bid, right? So um, we're going to see. I know, I know Earl Spence. I know um, PBC. I think they already got a plan set up that they're going to guarantee Fundora get more money. All he have to do is uh, vacate the WBO bill. I'm gonna say this, bro, and I see a lot of people are actually telling Fundora, and they was telling Tim Zoo too, because we was assuming Tim Zoo was gonna win this fight. They're telling Tim Zoo to vacate the WBO and fight Earl Spence. I think that's the most cowardice thing, bro. I don't condone ducking, man. And that's the problem with sport of boxing. Um, it's it's not what a UFC at because the best always fight the best. You have guys ducking, giving up belts, making two sides of the streets to avoid, avoid each other, bro. And Terrence Crawford pretty much been the boogie man, though. Whether people like him or not. I don't know why people don't like Terrence Crawford. Crawford is the best fighter in the world. It's, it's like pound for pound number one. Three division champion. Two-time undisputed. Like, I don't understand why people don't like Terrence Crawford. But I get it. It's, boxing is a popularity contest. Everybody got their favorites. But we have to be honest. I just don't like Kadone Duck. Why do Fandor have to give up his WBO? He said after the press conference, um, I wouldn't mind fighting Terrence Crawford. The WBO orders you to fight, to fight uh, Crawford next or you'll be stripped. Under any circumstances, will you vacate the WBO belt to fight Errol Spence? Whatever they give me. Whatever they give me. Uh... Earl Spence is a great opportunity. I think it's a, 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 a match made in heaven. But Terrence Crawford is the best fighter in the world. I would like to fight him. So everybody's condoning that he should duck Terrence Crawford. 
also he can get the Spence fight for the WBO. It's and they already saying, oh, we're gonna go to Dallas with it. I understand you gotta get your money. It's business. Fandor PBC, Tim Zoo PBC, Earl Spence is PBC, Terrence Crawford free agent. I, I get it. If you PBC, you're gonna go with your guy. That's that part I already got understanding of. But I'm talking about um if you Fandor and you were trying to create a legacy for yourself, I'm not ducking Terrence Crawford. He, if you come out here, you're saying, oh, I want to fight the best. Now, his manager already pretty much said uh, they're going to duck Terrence Crawford. Is that said, I believe he deserved it. Is that Errol Spence, Spence Jr.? That's correct. Over Crawford? Like, did Spence more money? Uh, or? No, Crawford, we're not sell out 90,000 people in Dallas. <laughs> I can tell but, you that much. But is Crawford well, the better fighter that you Oh, think? yes. But, you know, like everybody wait. Like, uh, Benavides wait. Why not Crawford? Let him wait one time or maybe twice and then he go. Even with Spence, you know, losing the fight, Crawford beating, you still think yeah, the value is better on in Spence? The, in the end of the day, is maximize the profit for the fighter. And it'd be stupidity for me not to do that for him. So safer for Spence. And, and besides that, boxing is business. As uh -huh. in, in Mayweather. Yeah. <laughs> Get some money. I'm not tripping about that. But I would like to see boxing, boxers um, focus on not just money, focus on your legacy. For example, no, I just I didn't think not a lot of people said this. They said Fundor can beat Tim Zhu if he uses jab. I thought this fight, he used his jab much better. He definitely used his jab because even though he's six five, six six, he doesn't take advantage. He doesn't use his um uh, reach. Like he posed to, but this fight particularly, and I'm gonna say this, me personally, I thought Tim Zoo was gonna win until he got that elbow to the dog on head. Um, I still believe that he would have won. And I, 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 but if there's no guarantee. I mean, I'm not just gonna just assume he gonna win, but I give him a great chance of winning because Sebastian coming off a loss, and a lot of people believes that um. He's not living up to his his talent, his size, and his, his reach. And I thought, okay, Tim Zhu, he's uh, the, the hottest Australian in the world right now. This is his shot. He, he's coming to the US, USA trying to uh, become a, a big star. He's going to go out here beat Fondor. It didn't happen like that. You know, he got the gush on his eye, couldn't see. And it was crazy is the bleeding didn't stop none during the fight. But the bleeding stopped as soon as soon the fight was over, which is crazy, man. Everything happened for a reason, though. Now I'm gonna say this: if Fondoro ends up dropping the D, the WBO and he lets to fight Earl Spence, I would like to see the WBO. Consider what we what we just saw Tim Zoo do. That, he, Tim Zoo was a warrior. He didn't have to go through that fight, man. That dude fought 12 rounds, losing all that blood, losing strength. How about this? Um, now, we got Josh Kelly. He's ranked number one, like number one contender in the WBO. And you got um, Erickson Luke, number two. I would like to see... Tim Zoom and Terrence Crawford fight for the WBO. And I think Boston fans are satisfied. And I think everybody eats at the, everybody gets what they want right here, I feel like. That'll be the best night. So we'll see what happens. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Get in the conversation. Hit the like button.